I know where I've, I've seen David perform a number of times, but it was, I know it was at the Poisson Rouge. Uh, it was, uh, um, forgetting his name, a musician from Australia who was performing at the time. Oren and Barkey. Or, yeah, it was Oren. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's, it's just about showing up. You know what I mean? Like, basically, if you show up, like, uh, then you end up being together. Yeah. No, no. I always, yeah, agree that there, that there is room for more, that my model of, working together collaborating for a long time was that of being in a band which is this weird like group monogamy thing uh you know that the membership of the band is very important for for me the the big break with that was playing in a couple of bands the red crayola and gastrodol soul that didn't really have fixed memberships and uh were more like um re revolving door situations so that that really like absolutely reoriented my my idea of collaboration and did give me the sense as you say that there can always be more oh yeah i think i first saw you play in 93 at uh at uh what's that loft on broadway oh the thread waxing space. thread waxing space i was at that gig oh yeah, yeah that was a fun one yeah 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 is that too is it, my partner is uh laughing at me think that's a funny thing to say <laughs> i think we it's have really a dirty <laughs> so I think we have a question from Alex. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I, I felt like this experience has a lot of commonalities with working in the studio, particularly at, at the beginning, you know, when I'm reading and I can, I can see the number of participants, uh, but that's about it. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I did feel that I was sort of projecting into a void, a void of my own ignorance. Um, uh, but also a, a void in real time that's really not a void. Um, but yeah, it has a little bit of that, um, w you know, one finds a way to perform e even not in the absence of audience, but being absent, uh, but being unaware of the audience. I think it's more like radio though. It's more like being in a radio station than it is a recording studio. Yeah. I mean, I found, I found, so I played a, uh, a live streamed concert on Monday and I found myself um, really enjoying the other concerts, the other performances in, on that same evening and going back to the series since then. And I have found that I'm much more connected to the live performances, even if the audio is terrible, even if the video is terrible, um, but rather, rather than uh, over coffee the next morning, uh, looking at the the video, um, that that the no matter how degraded visually and orally the experience is, somehow the real the real time aspect I I still find really captivating. Mm -hmm.